been a hot minute since I was sitting down here filming my weekly chat for you guys. I've been posting videos, but I haven't done a weekly chat in a while because I wanted to do some other things. And so we are back with my weekly chat. And by golly, I have a lot of things to talk about. Um, so let's start off with the elephant in the room. I'm not sure if this look uh, is working for me or if I should be out working the streets. Um, I wanted to wear this lip today. Um, and I was going to do like a soft, easy eye, and then this happened. And then because this, this shadow, which let's just talk about this first, okay? So this is a product that, I don't know, like I've never been a huge fan of Urban Decay's matte eyeshadows, but by golly, I dug out this Urban Decay Naked Basics palette today thinking like, I'll just do something simple and then I'll pair it with a red lip that I wanted to share with you guys anyways. Well, that didn't happen. This happened. And the reason this happened was because these things don't blend worth a crap. I hate to start out this video on like a sour note, but I had such a hard time with these. Like I wanted to start over so many times, but I didn't, I don't, I'd already invested so much in it. I'm like, just go with it, Chelsea. It'll, it'll be a fine. So if it's blotchy, patchy, not blended, I tried. Trust me, I tried. I could not get these things to work for me. So I'm not a fan of this. I thought I used to like this, but I don't know if it's just because I've tried so many other things since purchasing this that I thought this was good at the time. I don't know. Maybe it's just my eyes. I sometimes struggle blending out my left upper crease. I don't know if it's texture there or what, but this, this, this week is not a love. So I just had to mention that. In case you were wondering, man, her eye makeup looks like a hot mess today. That's why. <laughs> and I was not going backwards because I wanted to get this video filmed for you guys this week. So I'm like, screw it, whatever. It's happening. It's Wednesday. I don't have time to monkey around. So let's get into the favorites. First of all, this past Tuesday, yesterday, I posted a haul video. So if you missed that, you might want to check it out. It's my long awaited beauty or uh, birthday haul and some things that I've been purchasing over the past basically month or two. Um, basically since my last haul, actually. And I posted that on Tuesday, even though. My birthday was oh, a while ago. Um, and so, yeah, that was kind of a, the fun thing for the week. Also, I've started my Beauty Fall series. I started that on Saturday, and we will continue that again tomorrow. I have a really fun video plan for you guys tomorrow. And I'm hoping that my makeup turns out much better than it did today. But, you know, we can't always have perfect makeup days every day because <sighs> that's just not reality. This might be, like, the length of a monthly favorites, quite frankly, because it's been about a month since we've chatted. So, um, be prepared for a long video if you had not I seriously was so stressed out over this, this earlier. <sighs> That's it. I'm doing it. I'm going to go pour a glass of wine. Seriously, I needed a glass of wine after this. And so, I'm going to be right back. You go get yourself one, and then we'll carry on. My favorites this week. I'm going to start off with my handbag, actually. I put away my summer handbag. I was carrying a... I got like a Michael Kors purse for like $60 in like January, February. And it was a bright corally pink spring color and I carried that all spring and summer because I wanted a pop color. Now I've transitioned to fall and I, I shared this with, in a haul this past spring uh, with you guys and I had put it away because I was going to save it for fall and winter and at the time I had also got that Michael Kors and so because of the seasonal colors I wanted to do that and I've transitioned now into my Oriani handbag and I gotta tell you I freaking love this. It comes in several colors. I went with a neutral color because I wanted something that I could wear casually or dress it up and something that would just go with everything. So this is like their beige. I love the braiding detail on the Oriani handbags. I got this on QVC on Easy Pay. Um, I'm pretty sure they still have it. If not, they have several different styles that QVC always carries. And I love the hardware on here because it's not gold, but it's not silver. It's not shiny. It's just kind of like um, an antiqued gold, kind of like a subdued, so you can wear it with lots of things. Um, I feel like if the sh if the hardware is too shiny, it almost dresses up the bag a little bit, and I feel like this particular color kind of dresses it down. I love, like, let me hold it like this. I love the curve, like how they had it. Like, it just, it just mimics a woman's hourglass figure, and I just love that about it. Um, I shared that with you. Okay, the inside is great. I'm going to insert some close-up footage, too. It carries a good amount. I don't carry a lot of stuff with me, but it's a pretty deep purse, and you have a couple zippered pockets on the inside and then some places to stick, like, cell phones and stuff. And then on the back, you have another zippered area right here, and then you can wear it. You can disconnect the strap. I'm out of breath. <laughs> you can disconnect the strap and just carry it with the handles like this. 
or I like to leave the strap attached because I have two young children and I always need two hands. So I carry it more often than not, like I wear it crossbody. You can wear it as a shoulder bag too, but if you're shopping, it really is easiest for me to wear up my purse crossbody and um, yeah, it's just such a great versatile purse. It's real leather. Um, I've only been ha carrying this for about uh, three, two weeks now, I think, two or three weeks, and it's already softening up very, very nicely. Of course, when you get a new purse, it's going to be kind of stiff, but you carry it for a couple weeks, it, it just starts to really break in. So, huge first favorite. I'm seriously scared that this lip is making me look like I need to be out working my street. Um, I may watch this back. <laughs> We might have to take it off. I'm, I'm a little scared I look trampy today. But anyways, okay, we're gonna pour this together. Isn't this cute? My little wine stopper. I got this at Bed Bath & Beyond. You should, uh, if, if I can find it online, I'll link it below, but oh my gosh, it's so me. This is what we're drinking today. Um, it was on sale for $4.99 and I'm like, just do it. I don't normally go below the $5 price range just like, because it just usually is. Not wine I enjoy, put it that way. It's called The Naked Grape. I've tried these before, these are pretty good. Um, this is a Pinot Noir. Once again, I told you I am branching, branching out into the Pinot Noir family, and so I decided to try this one, and it's okay. It's not anything I'd be like, oh, go buy this. Mm, you might wanna skip this. I mean, I would cook with this. It's not terrible, but it's not the best of the best. So let me share this lipstick with you before I change it because I'm not sure I can look at myself any longer in this color. Um, I love the color though, that's not what I mean. I mean this combo, this is, it's a little over the top, but I'm feeling a little over the top today so maybe it's matching what's going down. So, I'm out of breath. I just ran up and down my stairs. <sighs> I'm out of shape. Since we're just kind of going all over the place today, let's just, let's just throw this in there. Oh, and knock everything off my desk while we're at it. This is from Jane.com, and I do a lot of shopping there. It's like an online uh, place where a bunch of boutiques do flash sales every single day. And I bought this last uh, fall, and it's just this super cute, long lace overlay thing. I'm just wearing yoga pants with it underneath, but I'm not going anywhere fancy except to the school. So I thought it was super cute. I would totally pair it with something more, I don't know. I only dress for you guys from here on up, so yeah. But anyways, check out Jane.com. I actually just bought a few more things that'll be coming next week. Maybe I'll share them with you if I remember. Um, but anyways, so lipstick. This week, I went to, um, where did I go? I went to the BX. <laughs> where are you, Chelsea? What are you doing today? I don't know. I went to the BX um, shopping for my dad for his birthday. And the Lancome counter, I just, I always, I just can't help myself. <laughs> it's like the closest makeup store I have to me. So every time I go there, I just have to take a gander. I always check out the perfumes. I check out what handbags they have in. Um, I go through the sunglass section and then I went past the Lancome counter and they had a sign that said, buy one Landstone, Landstone, Land, what? Buy one Lancome lipstick and get one free. And I haven't even drank that whole glass of wine yet. I'm already tongue-tied. This could be a very dangerous video. Um, so I was like, buy one, get one free. And they were having a $5 off coupon if you spent $25 more on beauty products. So two Lancome lipsticks for $20. Sign me up. So I picked out this one. And the other one you will see in tomorrow's video because it is freaking gorgeous and perfect for fall. But this is the Le Absolu Rouge number 342 Spice Pink. It's essentially a very pinky red so creamy so beautiful and I'm like well why are these on sale she's like well we're bringing in new colors for fall and they're kind of phasing these out so I don't even know if this is available online but probably um so yeah it's a gorgeous color it's absolutely beautiful I actually think you know I think this is a beautiful color for fall actually because it still has a punch of color, especially if you're going to start wearing those deeper colors on your body. I don't like this color with a mustard sweater. All right, now where am I going to check my notes because otherwise we're going to miss something today. <laughs> Let's do nail polish. So fall nail polish collections have dropped and I bought two polishes from the OPI fall collection. Um, the large one that is at Ulta and then one from the China Glaze fall collection. So the China Glaze fall collection this is the one color that really caught my eye, and it's China Glaze Dope Taupe. I will insert a picture of this. This is like gray meets dusty, lavender meets taupe. It is so beautiful. I'm not a gray person. 
I don't, you don't, you'll, one color you'll probably never see me wear is Heather Gray. I just don't do that color because it does nothing for me. And I just, I'm just not into gray typically. However, I've lately been super into charcoal gray because that's like a little bit more depth. But this color looks so good on my skin tone and I just, I love it. So I definitely recommend this if you're looking for like a gray that's more taupe. That's not uh, such a yellow undertoned gray. The formula on this was really awesome too. And that, to me, when you find a color you love with, and, it, and it applies nicely, that's like winner, winner, chicken dinner. And the other color I threw on this morning because my nails were not painted and, oh my gosh, you guys. If, today was just not a day I should have chosen to film because nothing went right. I had nail polish all over and I still have it all over my cuticles, underneath here, like I'm not gonna show you this hand. This is my working hand, so my nails are super short and they got chopped off. This is my left hand, which is my non-working hand, and my nails look beautiful, so I always show you this hand because this hand's like, you know. So this is the OPI Madam President. It's a pinky red, and it's their cream formula. Beautiful. It really is a nice formula. I had issues because, I don't know, I don't even drink that much coffee, and this morning I had half-calf, and my husband's like, why'd you buy half-calf coffee? I'm like, because I, I tend to drink too much coffee because I love coffee. So if I buy the half-calf, I won't be so crazy, but I was literally like, <sighs> like this, putting my nail polish on today, so <sighs> the color's gorgeous. Don't look at the, um, the application, but it is a beautiful color, and I think this is going to take us right into fall. Or not right into fall, we are in fall basically. Right into winter, because it's, I don't know, it's like a pinky red, which I love pinky reds in all year round. But in the winter, I just think warm chunky sweaters, like cream sweaters, and beautiful red polish, so this is nice. Another thing I want to start incorporating every week is my perfume of the week, because I love, love, love perfume. Uh, if you follow me on Snapchat, you saw that I bought the full size of the Burberry Black perfume that I shared with you guys, like, what was that, a week or so ago? <sighs> It is so good. It is so, so good. Um, but this week I decided to wear, I kind of change my perfumes up every day, but some, some perfumes I'll wear more, more times in a week than others. So this week, it's an oldie but a goodie. This is my Dolce & Gabbana Pour Femme perfume. I bought this for myself for a Mother's Day a couple, a couple years ago. Yeah, I've had it for a couple years, but I have a lot of perfumes. If you could, They're all sitting in that tray back there, but this is just beautiful. Oh, oh I wanted to read you the notes of it. Um, it's so warm and intoxicating. I wear a lot of warm perfumes, which is what you've probably gathered thus far, but the notes are Neroli, Raspberry, Green Mandarin, Jasmine, which you, you hear me say that a lot, because I, I like Jasmine, and I like it in a lot of things. Orange Blossom, Guimauve, no idea what that is, Vanilla, Heliotrope, and sandalwood. I like sandalwood too. So the style is seductive, beautiful, and sensuous. It is very nice. It is very nice. It's got a hint of sweet, but some depth to it, and it just, the vanilla really warms it up too, so it's very inviting. Um, but if you don't like vanilla scented perfumes, I think you would still give this a sniff. I think you would still like it. And the bottle is really beautiful. All right, so I have some more makeup and skincare to talk about, but I wanted to insert this little thing because I love this. I use essential oils, okay? And I buy Young Living essential oils. If you're ever interested, um, I don't even know how it works, but I'll leave my, you could just email me. I'll leave my contact information below because I do, I can get them at wholesale price. So if you're ever interested, let me know. Um, but I'm not here to um, pimp oils or anything like that. I just use them and enjoy them. So I thought I would share with you this particular one because I also seen Marlena on Snapchat um, and even Jaclyn Hill, which I didn't know she used these. Um, I mean, she has an extensive collection, but um, I've seen them talk about this and I've had this in the past and I've loved it and I just actually ordered a full size. But this is the Young Living Stress Away Essential Oil and this is the roll-on one, which I really like because you just, let's see if I can open this up. You just, I literally just roll it on like my forehead or my temples. Uh, I'm like, these are not temples, what are these? <laughs> these are my wrists. Um, and even like on my on my neck here and it's even to just smell it it is so good and what is in it is Kobica Baba Co I don't know I'll put it on the screen lime cedarwood vanilla octobia and lavender all essential oils all 100% pure therapeutic grade I also have a diffuser sitting here in front of me in fact when I was getting ready I was diffusing Christmas spirit which is so 
yummy to smell in your home but I've been loving this stress away I mean I've always loved this I've gone through several bottles of it um, but I've been putting this on my husband too I mean job change and it, it's just lots of things going on so the stress away essential oil really helps I mean they really work I'm not gonna go on and on about it but they really work if you guys have any wine recommendations please leave them down below especially for a Pinot Noir because, like I said, I'm, I'm delving more into the Pinot Noir family. That's like the one brand, not brand, the one type of wine that I haven't really tried a lot of. I love my Cabernets, Merlots, Pinot Grigio, Chardonnays. But that is, like, new to me. So leave me your recommendations below. All right, let's move on into makeup and let's just free palette. <laughs> just kidding. I'm going to keep it just because, you know, my mom likes to use this and stuff. And if she comes, then she doesn't have to bring her makeup. But ah, maybe my eyes just suck today. I don't know. Okay, so this week I seen on Instagram, or no, last week, I guess it last week, um, on Trend Mood, she posted that the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo, the highlighter in this, I believe it's going to be this exact one, they're going to sell it in a full size, and I'm stoked because, because I actually really, really like this highlighter. I'm wearing it today. Um, this is the, <clears throat> excuse me, the Pro Sculpting number one. There is a number two, and that highlighter is more golden. Now my voice is going, of course. <laughs> I'm suddenly sounding very manly. I love this highlighter. I love how it applies. I like, I don't love this bronzer. It's okay, but I actually used some of this bronzer today to, to help blend out the terrible eyeshadow, um, which is which is a good tip for you guys. And it actually brings the color of your bronzer up into your eyeshadow look too. Just take a little bit of your bronzer if you're having trouble blending something out or if you just want to warm up your crease. Take a, the same bronzer you used on your face and put it in your crease and all your problems will be solved, unless you use that palette. But this highlighter is gonna be released in a full size. I believe it's this exact same formulation, and I love this one. This one's like a pinky iridescence, and it has a true iridescence to it. So if you're more golden in um, undertone or warmer skin tone, I would go with the golden one, but I personally love this for my skin tone. It is beautiful. And I don't go crazy with it, I just do a little. Um, so yeah, absolutely really excited about that. Probably gonna need to buy that sometime. So I got two surprise packages in the mail two weeks ago, um, and I was super excited about it. Estee Edit sent me something. I know, like, who am I? <laughs> I was so shocked. I'm like, you want to send me something? Oh, absolutely. I had no idea what they were going to send me. And this is what they sent me. These are their new double-ended eyeliners, and I got to tell you, they're really nice. So I have swatched all these. I'll insert that so you can see them close up. But basically, they're double-ended pencils. They are incredibly creamy, almost to the default, though. I've used all of these colors so far, um, and they stay really nicely on. They do not transfer. On my waterline, they stayed for a decent amount of time. I was actually really impressed, because most, most eyeliners travel to my inner corner. I get a black hole in the center. I get, like, those eye black boogery things. Yeah, I get that. Um, how come no one else talks about their eye boogers? Because I get them all the time. Maybe my eyes just like to make boogers. I don't know. But I am really enjoying these. I like the color selection. Um, they're called the Inside Track Eye Cajals because you're supposed to be able to put them everywhere. They're approved for the waterline, the upper waterline, and then your actual where you would put eyeliner. And they're super, super creamy, as I stated. You have to be careful, though, because they're almost so creamy that the tip breaks off. In fact, the nude one... And the first time I opened it up, the tip fell off. But they do sharpen nicely. Um, they literally, let's see, you're not going to be able to see it. Let's do a dark color here. This one's, actually, I really like this one. The Bold Bordeaux and the Urban Nude Duo is really nice. Because I love a nude eye. Oh, my gosh, they're just so creepy. I barely touched that. Maybe I'll do it so you can see. This navy's pretty, too. And then this blue color, like this baby blue, is actually so pretty in the waterline. Just creamy. They just glide on like butter. Um, so I wanted to mention those and, of course, disclose that they were sent to me. Um, but that doesn't change my opinion because I still, I mean, I just shared everything with you that I 100% believe. So I think they're creamy, they're nice, they stayed relatively nice in my waterline, and they have a great color selection. And I like that they're double-ended like this because if you travel at all or if you have a lot of eyeliners... It's nice to try lots of other colors without having to commit to one full size of blue and one full size of the light blue. You know, you can get the duo. And then, of course, they're matched, so you can wear the colors um, coordinating. So you have navy, baby blue, black, and gunmetal. 
the nude and the bold bordeaux which is a beautiful maroony browny color perfect for fall and then this one is tarnished gold and twisted teal and then i got another surprise package and my ups guy comes like right at dinner time basically and so when our doorbell rings at dinner time the dog goes berserk and the kids are like who's here and we're all like Whoa, whoa. So like everyone has to go running to the door when we get visitors because apparently that is a something that never happens around here. And um, Justin, he always answers it and he's like, you got another package because he knows I like to shop online. So sometimes it's like beat him to the door kind of thing. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. Um, but I got this in the mail. This is the Clinique High Impact Custom Black Kajal black and black eyeliner and you're like oh that's cool Chelsea you're showing us a black eyeliner no why I like it is because it's so small you know the Clinique uh, quick liner for lips or their eyeliners they're really really small which is nice because you can really get up on the lip not with the black eyeliner I mean you could try that if you wanted um, and you can really get in your rim here without sticking an actual pencil that could have potential Sh you know pencil shavings or shards on it and scratch your eye. I've done that been there done that I'm kind of a klutz. Okay, um, but I like this because there's no none of that sharp pencil stuff going on It's really small and it's a twist up and you can just get right in there and it's really black. It's actually really nice so Yeah, I really enjoy this color too So that's why I'm sharing it with you if I didn't like this regardless of whether they sent it to me or not I wouldn't have shown you I mean, I'm not going to show you something I don't like, unless we're doing a video about things I don't like, like this. Um, but this is nice. I've spoken about this to death, but I truly have been using this nonstop since I got it. Since I'm not doing a monthly favorites, and I've totally not done weekly chat, we're just going to we're gonna show it one more time. Because I probably have new subscribers, maybe, if I haven't scared them off today, um, who aren't familiar with things I like to use and talk about. This is the May Lindstrom Skin, the Problem Solver. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is her warming correcting mask for your face. Um, this is a face mask that you're going to activate with water. It comes as a powder. Looks like that. And what it really helps do is pretty much everything. Tightens the pores, gets rid of redness, resurfaces your skin. It has a slight burning sensation that's not like your face is on fire. Um, it's just, that's a sign that it's working. That's a good thing. Um, it's got great ingredients in it. Definitely, definitely check this out if you're at all into masking or doing any sort of skin mask. Um, masking is really important for your skin, actually. So if you don't currently do that, I would look into doing that, maybe adding that to your skincare routine. Um, especially as we head into the colder months now, masking is so important to keep your skin hydrated and looking its best. And if you want awesome makeup, you have to start with your skin. I used to just mask it. Be like, give me the full coverage. Give me the Estee Lauder Double Wear. Then I'd take it all off and I'd be like, I hate my skin. I hate my skin. Now I don't even want the full coverage foundation because my skin's looking good and I'm okay with that. And what is this? I need a haircut. Okay, guys? <sighs> I need a haircut. Okay, the last thing I want to share with you is an eyeshadow. <laughs> if you can look past the dark blob. And if you look on my lid, this is what's on my lid. This is the Dior Show. I didn't even want to look down today because I'm like, they're going to see how bad I blended out my eyeshadow. <laughs> I was like, maybe I'll just open things up and look at them from up here so that they can't see my eyes looking down. Um, this is the Dior Eyeshadow in Cosmo Polite. These are newer to Dior's uh, single eyeshadow line. Now, I don't feel like when I went to the counter and I looked at these, I swatched several shades. And I didn't feel like they were consistent in formula or in opacity or in creaminess, but this one major, major stood out to me. It is absolutely freaking stunning. Beautiful all over the lid. It brightens the lid, but not, it's not like a, a bright frosty white color, which I love, but this is a color I think would look good on every single person. Um, I think it's so flattering. It's like a rose goldy, champagne-y, super buttery, slight hint of taupe. Gosh, I barely, barely touched that, and it's just so, I mean, the sheen on it is really flattering. It's not, like, obnoxious. It does have little glitter particles, like, when you, when I go to take this off, I will see glitter on my hand a little bit, but I feel like this is a very mature, not, like, mature in a negative way, but a, a great way to do a more sparkly lid without feeling like it's going to emphasize your crepey eyelids, if you have them. I mean... There's no shame in my game. I'm starting to get crepey eyelids. Like, I don't like that. And some shadows will enhance that and make you look like, like, crepe paper. 
and no one wants crepe paper eyelids, but some, sometimes that's what happens with certain shadows. This doesn't do that. So I feel like if you're older and you're like, I can't, I can't do metallics or shimmers, try this. At least go to the counter and put it on, wear it around, you know, make sure you have a good base, that kind of thing. But I love it. I love it. I just, I've been wearing it with so many different things, but yeah, this is great. I think we made it to the end. <laughs> Oh boy, if any of you are new, you probably were like, who is that chick? She is on something. Nah, it's just been one of those mornings where everything you wanted to do, just it just didn't work out that way. You know, that's okay. We just keep trucking, just like in life. Like sometimes, like right now, <laughs> there's so many things going on and so many changes and it's like the most stressful time we've had in a while, maybe ever, and you just keep trucking. Pour yourself a glass of wine, pop up a nice cold beer on a Friday night, watch a movie. Do a mask, paint your nails, keep drunking. Thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this and you, you just want more real life type videos because I can't really do anything that's too perfected because then it just ends up being a mess. So I like these types of videos though. Like I just like to put out there who I am and how things really are around here. And so let me know if that's okay with you because it's totally okay with me. Um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your Friday or whatever day you're watching this. Um, tomorrow morning we will have Chit Chatter Day and I'm going to continue my beauty fall series because I love fall so much and I have so many videos planned and yes, I'm really excited about tomorrow's though. So anyways, we will see you tomorrow and I love you guys.